Hey guys, John Rettinger here, and welcome to part two of my tour of the AT&T Tilt 2, or the Touch Pro 2 as it's known regionally and internationally. In this edition, we're going to cover the locking screen, the keyboard, the browser, the innovative speakerphone technology, and some of the hardware. So let's start with what you'll see when you use your phone for the first time, almost every time, the lock screen. For those of you that may have used an older Windows mobile device, you'll be familiar with the lock screen. That was quite cumbersome. You had to hit two keys, a soft key. It really was not an elegant or easy way to unlock a touchscreen device. Microsoft has fixed that with Windows Mobile 6.5 or Windows Phone as they're rebranding it. So right here you've got a new slide bar and one thing that's new with the slide bar is actually notifications. So you'll see I've got a one right there. If I tap it, it tells me I've got one missed call and if I tap that one missed call it's going to take me to the missed call menu on the phone which is actually a pretty nice and easy to use solution. So to unlock it, take your finger and quite obviously swipe it to the right. And here we are in TouchFlow 3D. So the big difference between the Tilt 2 and say some of the uh, Touch Diamonds 2 models is the keyboard. So let's take a look at the keyboard and see how it works. So we'll go into Word Mobile. So we'll open up the start menu here and see the new Honeycomb. Open up Office Mobile, which of course with a Windows Mobile phone you get full Office compatibility. We'll open up Word, we'll open a new document. You can see how quickly it works on this processor. And we're greeted with a soft touch keyboard that you've seen on most TouchFlow 3D devices. It's not the best keyboard in the world, but it's usable. And you get the nice functionality where you can drag your finger over the letters to see what you're typing. I'm not that accurate with it. I think it's a little bit cumbersome to touch type on a resistive screen, but it's not bad. Most of your text input, however, is not going to be done via the on-screen keyboard. It's going to be done using this actual physical keyboard here. So let's do a quick test and see how this works. So let's try this out. We can even tilt the screen up, hence the tilt name. So as you get used to typing on this, I think you're going to get much faster, but I was pretty accurate on here. This is one of the better physical keyboards that I've used. I think HTC did a fantastic job. The five rows, the dedicated row of symbols, make text entry and obviously entering symbols very easy. If you're looking for a device with a full physical QWERTY keyboard, you're going to have a tough time beating the Tilt 2. I think they just did a really nice job on it. Now you're also going to get a few other options with this as well. If you don't want to slide it out, you can also have access to a full landscape uh, soft keyboard. Again, it's going to depend on what your personal usage habits are. But it's functional if you want to just enter you know, a few numbers. Well, I think most of your text, email, and MMS is going to be done via the physical keyboard. So next, let's take a look at the browser. This is, of course, a 3G device. Now, what's interesting about what HTC did with this, they put Pocket Internet Explorer on it, but didn't make it the default browser. They actually made Opera the default browser, which I think was a very good choice. Opera is a very full-featured uh, browsing option. So we'll go over to the browser. Internet. And you've got some interesting things here. Add a new push page, which I'm going to show you what that looks like in a minute. But for right now, let's launch the web browser. So go ahead and tap it. And here we are on CNN Mobile. So let's go ahead and open up a site and we'll see how it renders. Let's go to, let's say ESPN is a little bit of a larger page. And we're just on, right now, a 3G connection. Certainly this has Wi-Fi as well, uh, B and G. So I'll go ahead and hit the button at the bottom brings up a full menu. Actually, we've got the My AT&T page loaded here. That'll work well for testing. So one of the nice things about the Touch Pro 2, in this case, Touch Diamond 2, it's got a zoom bar across the bottom. Now, if you use the HTC Fuse, which was the Touch Pro 1, you notice it had a capacitive area in the, in the middle where you could use your finger to circle around and zoom in. That capacitive area is gone and replace it with this extra resistive zoom bar. So let me show you what this looks like and how it works. This page is still finishing loading. You take your finger and you just zoom it across and it's going to zoom in. It's not so accurate, it sort of zooms in on an arbitrary area, but you can scroll around and get where you want to go. It certainly is not any uh, sort of multi-touch zoom, although you can double tap to get into an area. I think the zoom bar is useful, but nothing that I would probably use on a regular basis for internet browsing. I think when you get into the photo viewer, it's a little more um, handy. So zoom in, zoom out, 
just using this bar. And as you'll see, it does render full HTML pages. You get finger scrolling and flick scrolling. That is actually pretty smooth. Uh, I think the browsing capabilities on the Tilt 2 are pretty good. For those of you that are familiar with Opera, you're going to know what you're going to get here. So if you can rotate it, and of course it has an accelerometer. So one of the big questions I always get with these devices is, will it play YouTube videos? Does it have flash support? So I'm going to show you. We're going to load YouTube up here, and we're going to see what it looks like. So I will use the keyboard since I am awful at using the soft keyboard. Got YouTube.com. Go ahead and hit enter and let that load up for you. All right, so scratch that. We do get the full version of YouTube that loads up. So let's click on a video and see what happens. We'll zoom in. Alice in Wonderland Halloween tutorial. So we'll click it and see what happens. And you get the same error that you see on most devices. You don't have JavaScript enabled. So unfortunately, this does not have Flash capabilities. However, you can download another uh, browser, for instance, Skyfire, which will give you Flash capabilities. So if you are going to get this, just know you're not going to have that right out of the box. So let's go back to the home screen. To exit out of Windows Mobile Program, just hit the X. And you've got this thing called a push page, which is quite interesting. You've got a few of them right here. What this does, it actually will well, push a full internet page right to your device. Let's say you check ESPN every hour, and you don't want to wait for ESPN to load every time you do it. So you can set it to actually pull down the page for you at given inc increments. So you can title it, hit in the address, so you can do www.espn.com. You can set your frequency for really whatever you'd like, and it pushes that website right to the device. So every time I hit it, it'll automatically be there. It's a really cool feature. Uh, it's something very simple that I would have expected a lot of devices to implement, and I think that because of this presence here, it'll probably filter down to other devices as well. So next, let's take a look at the innovative speakerphone technology that's found in the AT&T Tilt 2. I am on a call. Can you hear me? Perfect. So if you're on a call and you've just got the phone up to your ear, you can talk like normal. It's got a proximity sensor, so when you hold it up to your head, it's going to turn the screen off. But if you take the phone and you flip it over, it's going to recognize that it's flipped over. You're going to get a little bit of a vibrate. And now speakerphone is on. Armin, can you hear me? All right, perfect. So you can hear speakerphone is quite loud. It's got two microphones. It's got one on the side and one on the bottom. So you can use this actually as a real office speakerphone. And it's got a button right in the middle for mute. So if you want to, if I'm on a speakerphone on a conference call and the guy in the line's a real jerk, you can mute it. Be like, man, that dude's a real asshole. You see the thing glows red to let you know that you are on mute. Go ahead and turn mute off and you can say, hey, I love you. You did a great job. And it's got uh, actually stereo speakers behind this grill. This whole middle part is actually the grill. And when you're done, if you just turn it over, it's going to automatically go off of speakerphone. And if you flip it back, it's going to automatically turn back to speakerphone. It's some of those technologies that you don't think is going to be that useful, but you're going to use it quite a bit. Even if you're in the car, for example, and you flip it over and put it on your knee, it's going to be something that you're going, definitely going to use. So let's hang up this call. Let's continue our tour. And if you're done, you get the option to input the contact um, if you'd like. So the next thing that I want to talk about is some of the, uh, the hardware of the device. So from a battery standpoint, you're looking at a 1500 milliamp hour battery, which is relatively big. You're going to get eight and a half hours of talk time and a standby time up to 20 days. It weighs about 6.3 ounces. It's got 512 megabytes of internal storage, but certainly you can up that with a micro SD card. And it's got it, we can go up to 32 gigs for that. It's of course quad band and 3G. The display is a very generous 3.6 inches. When you're looking at video on this thing, it really just looks fantastic. Resolution is 480 by 800, which is the maximum resolution that Windows Mobile supports. And of course, you're going to get a full QWERTY keyboard that I showed you guys earlier. So this is part two of the tour of the AT&T Tilt 2 or the Touch Pro 2. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the channel for a full comparison of how this is going to work against some of the major devices, um, most notably the iPhone. For exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 lakers And to learn more about Techno Buffalo, check out technobuffalo.com. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.